to stretch the muscle, stretching the muscle in the affected compartment, it hurts like fire. You've got a problem. So pain, so for example, you have a patient with trauma to the maybe the upper arm, and then when, for example, there is ex finger extension, the patient says, I have pain. Start thinking, ha, ah, there could be a component of compartment syndrome, which is brewing. Or if the patient has pain with passive dorsiflexion, where that means that there's stretching of the anterior compartment, that means there's, there's a problem. Another thing you also want to look at is that muscle feels like rock hard sausage, then there's a problem. It feels like rock hard sausage, then there is a problem. And if there are neurovascular changes, but remember, the neurovascular changes are late signs. So the early sign is the pain. Neurovascular changes are late signs. Let me say it again. Pain is the earliest sign. Which kind of pain is pathognomonic? Now, the pulselessness that we talk about, oh, the five Ps, pain, pulselessness, paresthesia, all those things, that pulselessness is a very, very, very late sign. Pulselessness is a very late sign. So pain, pain on passive stretch, if you're looking at the late signs, the earliest late sign which should point you to compartment syndrome is paresthesia. So remember that paresthesia will always precede pulselessness. As long as you get to the level of pulselessness, it's almost game over.